Welcome back. In this video, we're going to try and get our baby snake that's losing weight and is not doing really well. We're going to try and get it to eat, trying to get something in it because it's starting to lose weight and I don't want it to die. So if you want to come with me up here and look up here. So he's in here. I'm going to pop him, I'm going to pop him on the desk so you can see. So he's put a stuff in his water bowl, but if you want to get in and have a look, you can see that down his back there's a really distinct line, and that's because he's actually losing weight and you're starting to see the spine coming through. The other babies we've got aren't actually like that, and they're more round and more muscular. This guy's losing weight, and I'm not happy with how he's doing. So we're going to use this tub that I left in there, and we're going to try and use a combination of techniques to get him to eat. I'm going to pop this here just to show you but what we've got here I'll take this out for you it's a pinky mouse so what we're doing with this pinky mouse is three techniques previously this guy has not I'm pop it in there again previously this guy has not actually eaten a straight up pinky like his siblings nor has it eaten from singular boiling or from braining so what we're going to try in this video is combine all three techniques okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to add boiling water to this pinky and that's going to um or boil it and defrost it at the same time that is one technique that i've tried to use that has been successful on other members other siblings of that clutch but this guy not so much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this i'm going to actually move him because i'm not going to pour boiling water over him like an idiot so we're going to use the kettle and I'm just going to pour some boiling water in so we're going to leave this for a few minutes let that defrost and let that boil honestly it's such a small item that it's going to boil really quickly and after that, we're going to move on to the next technique. And I'll also be able to teach you, if you're particularly interested or anyone else watching is interested in doing this technique, I'll show you how to do it. Right, we're back and we're happy that this is boiled enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tissue paper. I'm just going to pop this down next to it. And I'm going to retrieve this guy from here. And I'm just going to kind of blot it a little bit, just so um, just so I take off some of the excess boiling water. Because the technique we're going to do at the end, and combine all three techniques, I don't want it to be excess boiled water on the, ro on the rodent to actually burn the snake. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove this boiling water and move that to the side. The next technique, squeam squeamish warning for any of you, but we're going to brain the pinky. And that means stabbing something into the brain and then making brain juices come out. So if you don't want to see that, maybe it's not for you, but I'll, for those of you that want to know how to do this with snakes, um, we'll teach you how to do this. So, right, let's make sure we get a good visual for them for the see. Can you see, can you see me here? Hang on, I'm just going to zoom in. Does it look good? Yep. Right, so I'm taking a sharp object, so I'm just using like a needle here. And placing it between the eyes, straight on the forehead, and I'm just going to gently insert it in. See, it doesn't need to go far. I'm only a little bit in, just to pierce the brain. Can you see that? Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to pull it out again now. And then what we've made is a hole. Can you see the head? And I'm gently going to squeeze a little bit, just to make some liquid come out. Do you see the liquid here? Yep. Okay, so what that liquid's going to do is we have a really strong scent, and hopefully elicit a stronger response from the baby snake to eat. So I'm going to pop this back on there, and hopefully not lose some of the brain juice to the paper. I might prop his head up against the ball of that. No, that's good. Okay. And what we're going to do is bring back Baby Snake. 
So I've named this snake Runty because of obviously obvious reasons he's struggling behind the rest of his clutch. But what we're going to need to do is retrieve Runty, and then we're going to put Runty in this container. Can you see this container clearly? Yeah. We're going to put Runty in this container with the pinky, and hopefully that makes the meat. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the brained pinky, the brained boiled pinky, and place that in this container. See it? Mm -hmm. Lovely. I'm going to pop that to the side, and then what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to look for Runty. Normally I don't like to be intrusive with snakes, but with this guy, it's needed, so... You in there, mate? I think he's at the bottom of it all. Oh, he's come from this side. So what I'm thinking is he's right at the bottom somewhere. I'm just going to lift this and look at the bottom. Right, so he's actually under the water bowl, so I can move this water bowl now. Can you see? I'm going to remove this water bowl and he's going to be sat underneath it. There he is, hiding at the bottom. He thinks no one can find him. We're going to place here, this here in preparation. And I'm going to go in. I'm left-handed and you're filming from the left. So you might, you might, I'm going to try and move to the side so you can see this. Mind your toes, camera woman, Ellie. I'm going to come in. I'm going to try and pick him up. And not freak him out, hopefully. Excuse me. Thank you. I'm going to place him in here with it. And I'm going to quickly, I'm going to shut the lid so that he can't leave. And then we're just going to leave him in that with it. And pop that in a better spot where it's light. So at the moment he's more interested in leaving. But what I'm hoping is that him moving over the pinky and the centre of the brain and the fact that he can't leave, he should decide that he actually does want to eat and live. So I know it's not a great visual because you're looking for an opaque scratched up tub, but hopefully you can see what's going on. Oh, he's opened his mouth. He's got. He's lifting it. He's lifting it up. Go on, Runty. I think he's going for it. It's quite a poor angle. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to touch the tub and disturb him. So, I think this is the best angle we're going to get. But he's going for it. That is such a relief. Like, I don't think he had much more in him. Like, he looks like he's on, what, maybe a few more weeks, maybe a month, before he's literally, truly emaciated. And that's what was worrying me. So, now that he's had a certain amount of food in, down his throat, I was less worried about him like stopping eating, so now I've just gently taken the lid off so you can get a good visual of what he's doing. He's just getting the last of that down his mouth. He's eating this like so slowly though, because like his siblings, you put it in front of him and it's gone in like what, 60 seconds? They can get the whole thing down in that quick. He's taken such a long time just to eat this because it's obviously he has not experienced the eating. That's how fresh and baby faced he is. Bless him. That's gone so well. Look at it slowly going down him though. He's like struggling with it a little bit, I think. Okay, so I'm going to move things now. What I'm not going to do is pick him up again because you, you can see. That massive bulge in his neck is just still not down to his stomach yet. His stomach's back here, so he's really going for it. And what we're going to do is just 
I'm going to be really hands off and just leave him. I'm going to take this water bowl out for cleaning. I'm going to pop him in the corner. There you go, mate. Just move you to the side. I'm going to put his hides back. Very simplistic setup for a baby snake. And then once he actually eats properly and he's continuously eating, then I can start adding more complexity to his setup. He is so pretty in the light. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but when the light hits him, it is just... He's like a little rainbow. Okay, so we're going to leave him to just digest that. I've sorted his water bowl out. I'm going to add some water to his water bowl. A lot of people might like tip him out into his enclosure to retrieve a tub. I'm just going to leave him to be. There you go, there's some water. There we go. We want to say thank you to Heather for joining us on our Mission Driver tier on Patreon. You're helping fund a lot of what we're trying to do here, so thank you very much. And for little Runty here, hopefully, if we keep repeating this technique, he will put on some weight and then we can get him on to starting some training sessions like his siblings. Let us know if you want to see more content like this and whether you want to see like training sessions with babies and how we train baby snakes. Other than that, thank you very much for watching and go see these guys be born. There should be a video at the top right now.